What's up YouTube? D-Star back again today with five tips and tricks hidden inside Ableton 10. So we're going to keep it real simple. I'm going to try to knock these out in under three minutes. But before we get started, I need you guys to do me one favor. Leave one comment with something you're frustrated with in Ableton that's been driving you crazy. I need that inspiration for my next video and you might be the next one. And let's get the stopwatch going. Boom. Let's go. All right, guys, first tip, playing synths in reverse. Check this little trick out, right? So we have these chords. If you wanna play this in reverse, normally you'd bounce it to audio and then reverse it, but then the chords or the melody would be way out of order, which leaves kind of a mess. Not for long. Highlight it all, reverse the MIDI, and then boom, freeze track, flatten it, and then copy the new track to audio, and then reverse that, and now you've got the right chords, the right melody, in the right order, but reversed. Simple. And that leads me to tip number two, guys. You can actually copy frozen tracks and pieces of frozen tracks and convert them right to audio. Just make a new audio track, highlight the part you want, and then paste it in. And you can get it right to audio without having to flatten the track. Super useful. Tip number three oversampling. A lot of people don't know this, but an EQ8 um, and the glue compressor and a few other plugins is actually oversampling. You can enable it by right clicking on the top right here and clicking oversampling. This leads you to have higher quality output at the cost of some CPU usage. Also another pro tip real quick, you can check oversampling and then save as default so it's always turned on. Fourth tip, a lot of people don't know about this one and it's super useful. Take a drum loop or any type of sound in audio turn on warp, go down to beats, and select this one right here with the single arrow. All right, let's hear it before, and let's hear it after. You can actually gate it by the transients by using this warp mode, which cleans up loops and creates a little bit of a different sound. Really awesome on drum loops. Tip number five, our last tip, a polyphony hack. Play multiple instruments with one MIDI channel. Really simple, create one MIDI track and then create all the instruments you wanna play at the same time. Switch to all the MIDI instruments to in, by highlighting them all, selecting in, and then go up here and go to all ends and choose the MIDI channel. Arm the MIDI channel up here that you wanna play it from, and then boom, hit one key, and you will play them all. Another real cool trick before we let you go is you can actually change the pitch or set up the scale to lock them in all in different scales or different intervals. So let's say we wanna play C minor, or let's do C major, because I clicked major, and then you can do intervals. So let's say you wanna go up a three, or up a fifth, or that would be a third rather, and then let's go in here, copy the same thing. And let's do this one with fifth, and now you can play chords. all from one key. All right guys, that's it for this tutorial. Five tips, hopefully I made it on time. If not, sue me. Anyways, hope you guys got something out of this. If you did, hit that like button and smash the subscribe button. And also, before you guys leave, give me one thing down in the comments that you're struggling with as a producer the last time you struggled with and inspire me a little bit so I can create a video based on that. Thank you guys so much, see you soon.